Hi Cancer, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. Now, I know the lighting is a little bit low, but I'm trying to do one more reading with like the natural lighting coming from the window. So bear with me as usual. We like the Palo Santo. So it's just us and the message. And if I didn't say it already, this is going to be your weekly reading for October 15th to the 21st. Cleanse the space for cancer. Let's begin. All right, cancer. What do we got for you? the dead end and we have the maiden card here okay I'm gonna ask for some clarification here if I can get some clarification on the dead end please the sun eight of wands king of pentacles knight of wands queen of cups Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Maiden, please. The Empress in reverse. The Maiden's in reverse. This card wants to come out. These two both want to come out. All right, Four of Wands and the Five. Okay, so there's definitely um, a situationship, right? Oh, I, I said situationship and I didn't even intend to. I guess there's a situationship happening right now in your life that's really not making you feel good. Okay, now this is a situation that is making you feel extremely insecure. All right, dead end, maiden in reverse. Okay, these two cards. Dead end is pretty much what it says, right? This is not going anywhere here, okay? On this side with the dead end here, okay, you have the sun in reverse, okay? You have the Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups, you have the King of Pentacles, those are both in reverse, and you have the Knight of Wands, okay? So the Sun, not feeling good. Good feelings are not present, okay? It's fast energy, okay? Very fast energy, but it's really not making you feel um, confident, okay? There's definitely a masculine and feminine energy right now that are not in their um, good good like energies okay so when you have the king of pentacles in reverse this is someone who feels like they're not capable of being able to provide a proper family and home okay you have someone who feels like they can't um give a situation what it really needs right and then you have the queen of cups here in reverse which is the feminine side of this which is like not even being able to handle the emotions not feeling um comfortable feeling too vulnerable feeling like it's just it's too much right it's too much um happening very quickly all right we also have the knight of wands um now the knight of wands can definitely be a very um, intense sexual energy coming in here okay so intense sexual energy coming in here but it's not really feeling grounded okay the maiden in reverse with the five of pentacles and the four of wands in reverse you have a situation here that's making you feel totally left out in the cold totally impoverished 444 really insecure really lacking okay and it's not something that you feel like is going to have success, right? You don't feel like it's going to have success. You feel like it's going to end and it's not like 
feeling good, right? Who is this person in their life right now? Someone that you feel like is your world is, yeah, making you feel isolated, right? Now, I know Cancer, we do pick up on a partnership when we do your readings. And, um, yeah, it just feels like right now, yeah, this, this just feels like it's not trying to manifest. Um, this emperor, this vision that you had of this person, right? Sun in reverse again with the ace of cups here. Something that you really thought was going to provide a lot of love for you, okay? Again, we have a sun in reverse twice now. Sun in reverse twice with the ace of cups with the three of wands in reverse with the emperor here. This person that you really thought was going to be able to provide you some sort of stability and a vision of the future that you had moving forward is now bringing all of this really bad feeling um, inside of you and really making you need to kind of give yourself a lot of self-love, okay? I'm going to do one more clarifier because I like to clarify with three decks just to just see what's going on here. You get eight of wands in reverse now with the empress upright, okay? Page of wands. Five of cups, king of swords, nine, nine of, yeah, All right, so yeah, this is like you're pretty clear on what's happening right now, okay? You, with this um, King of Swords here, you're very aware of what's happening. You're aware of why the disappointment's there. You're aware that this situation is kind of coming to an end. Now, this is a situation that um, was promising love, okay? But it has only brought a lot of this torment energy with the Two of Cups upright. You have the Five of Swords in reverse, and you have the Nine of Swords upright, okay? So this is a lot of um, mental anguish over these, like, feelings that there's been a betrayal in this love situation, okay? What has been the betrayal in this love? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Not being able to give the other one the world. And as soon as I opened the deck, it said the world. Not feeling confident. Um, not feeling successful. Wanting wish fulfillment. So what is the crux of the problem here? Is this... Is, is a feeling that this is the one, that this is the right thing. It's getting very dark, excuse me. And I think you're tired. You're tired of trying to make this be the thing, make this be the thing that gives you the passion that you're seeking, okay? Dang. Oof. Queen of Wands and the King of Cups, you are really wanting to be with someone that makes you feel like you are in your power and they're in their power. You're feeling confident, you're feeling beautiful, and you're looking for um, someone that is emotionally stable, emotionally available, and ready to give you the world that you deserve, okay? It's getting very dark, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna close out um, with one more card, okay, for Cancer here. The sunlight of forgiveness has no end. Good spirits, solar plexus chakra, let the pure soul fire burn through inherent beliefs that hide personal potential. Let us learn to turn the wheel of forgiveness seven times towards freshness. Let us forgive the blindness of desire and envy and embrace the light of simplicity guided by the spirit of fun. She asked me to forgive myself so we could play our part. She asked me to forgive myself so we could embody good spirits. She asked me to forgive myself simply because it was time. She said she would wait because where we were going was timeless. All right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. See you next week. Bye-bye.